everybody and welcome to this course. This course is General Science High School for Grade 9. My name is Catherine Salam. I'll be teaching you this course for this scholastic year. As you guys know that science is a system of knowledge and methods. Technically, it is for finding that knowledge technology is the application of scientific knowledge to solve a problem or a certain problem. Also, it is a beneficial relationship that exists between science and technology, which means that technology may be developed to answer a scientific question and science may be used to solve a technological problem. Also, we have the science is organized into three main branches. We have the physical, chemistry, and earth science. Those are subdivided into many overlapping areas. All of them are approaching problems or questions from more than one direction that can make it easier to understand and to solve these problems. Also, we are going to be using the scientific approach, which is the scientific method that is a plan for gathering information in order to solve a problem for a better understanding of event. You guys know that technically science scientists, they do share data. Okay, so how can we gather this data, analyze this data? If we have a problem, a challenge, how can we solve it? Okay, also you have to measure these data as those data are developing with years and days. Okay, so you have to actually understand that these amount of data needs to be measured, to, to, to be collected and to aggregate into measurements and quantitative data. During this course, we will be different topics. First of all, we are going to talk about the chemistry part of science. So we are, we are going to talk about the properties of matter, such as classifying matter, physical properties, chemical properties, take into consideration that this topic was covered in grade six so and grade eight so we are going to recap and uh, re revise all of that so also we have the atomic structure we are going to be studying atoms the structure of an atom and the modern um, atomic theory we're going to be continue talking about the chemistry part which is the periodic table organizing the elements the modern periodic table, the representative groups, and also we are going to talk about into details about each topic of them. Then we are going to move into a much deeper concept, which is the chemical reactions. So we're going to be talking about describing chemical reactions, types of chemical reactions, energy changes in reactions and reaction rates. As you know that I have more than one element in the periodic table. We're gonna understand what elements I can react together and which elements I can't react together. And the can't, why I can't do this or I can't do that. Okay, so we are going to describe the chemical reactions. We are going to be describing the elements, the properties of each one of them. And this is about the chemistry part of this book. Then we're going to be moving to the physical part of this book, which is the physics, which is the motion. We are going to be um, comparing and discussing about the distance and displacement, the speed and velocity. How can we calculate them? You have to, to know that calculators are allowed in your course. We are going to talk about acceleration and how it is related to velocity and speed and what is the difference between them. Also, we're going to be talking about a lot of calculations in this, um, in this unit. So I really hope that you are practicing your math. Then we are going to be covering the topic of energy. So in general, we're going to be talking about energy and its forms, energy cons uh, convergence and conservation, because you know that 
energy is conserved, we are going to understand and explain how energy is conserved and why. And also we are going to be talking about energy resources. Then we're going to be moving to the mechanical waves and sound. So technically we are going to talk about waves. So we are going to be, to be giving a definition to mechanical waves, properties of mechanical waves, behavior of waves in general, and sound and hearing. This topic was covered in grade seven, so I really hope that your prior knowledge is excellent. So then we're gonna be moving to the electromagnetic spectrum of light. We have electromagnetic waves, we have the electromagnetic spectrum, also we have the behavior of light, color, and source of light. Then we're going to be talking about electricity. So we're going to talk about the electric charge and static electricity to actually define static electricity and give real life examples about it. We're going to talk about electric current and Ohm's law. We are going to talk about electric circuits. We have parallel, we have series. How do, do they differ from each other? How can I use Ohm's law to actually solve a given problem? Then we are going to talk about the chemistry of life. We have the molecules of biology. We have protein, carbohydrate, lipids, nucleic acid. So technically we are going to talk about more about the biology, biology part of the science. Then we're gonna talk about the cell structure and function with, which is the eukaryotic cell structure, cell organelles, cell membrane, diffusion and osmosis, active transport, endo and extosis. So those that we are going to be sharing, we have the mitosis and meiosis, the cell cycle, mitosis and cytokinesis, meiosis and formation of gametes. So and then we are going to talk about the earth science, which is the ecology. What is population growth? What, what is, we are going to be talking about what is population growth, population, community, and ecological society. About uh, our revision sessions for first semester is going to be December 10th and December 11th. For second semester is going to be June 2nd and June 3rd. First semester examination period, it's from um, December 12th all the way to December 21st, and then second semester June 4th all the way to June 13th. Can't wait to see you. Take care.